That boy been cheat on Miss. Man, what's going on with it, family? Man, listen. It's your boy, the Alabama header. And before we get started, I need y'all to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell on the side to be notified on each and every time that we decide to slide. And today, we're talking about 15 minutes of fame gone horribly wrong. We're speaking on 79th in Maryland. Very own Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Now, I ain't gonna cap you down. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know the resume of Bloodhound Lil Jeff, but I know that he um, reached viral status not too long ago for doing something incredibly stupid on camera. So, with that being said, family, we finna dive into a small intro of Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Let's get to it, man. Be seeing fans or like people trolling your name. How you feel when like Probably people me. out here comparing you to like King Von or like Melly or something? <laughs> 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 you know you be seeing people just steady like. Yeah. They go do what they go do. Fans gonna be fans. Blood job though. Bloody hell. Blood job. That is. Now for the people who don't know, man, like, is it safe to be around here? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, we in the we in the club in the park right now. It looked chill, you know it ain't. Hey, you got your right club. You can sit down in the park. You got the kids over there in the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Alphalus. Alphalus coming man. You know, come out here have fun, chill man. My bad. But everybody can't do what we do, so don't do what we do, you know. Cause fans seen y'all saying like f the whole west side, and they like, man, they always like 79th. The whole Chicago. That's the okay. A lot of people don't really understand that too. Like a lot of look, people look, in the city like don't. This, folks, we ain't trying to kick it with nobody. Yet. So of course we gonna say okay, about it. you take some certain way, do something about it. I'm dead. Come on, do something about it. Folks. We got a problem. Send some shots at us. What's not gonna happen? But you know. Check it out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Bloodhound, little Jeff. Um. Bloodhound Lil Jeff lost his life on yesterday in a hell of gunfire in Chicago. Um, yeah. It is crazy how these kids crash out on this internet. And shout out to On The Couch TV, Off The Couch TV. Link gonna be in the video so you can check this out, man. But these boys telling you that they trolls. You know what I'm saying? Word hit the street that Bloodhound Lil Jeff had like 10 bodies. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but hey, man, I know when we were out doing what we were doing at a young age, you know what I'm saying? If we wanted to hit our enemies where it hurt, we would claim them bodies. We would claim, yeah, we the ones that did that to such and such. You know, you know I know y'all know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. But this is what put a Firestorm behind Bloodhound Lil Jeff. His interview from DJ UTV. Shout out to DJ UTV. His link will be in the comments as well. This is wild, y'all. So, can you tell us around what age you started rapping and who influenced you to get in the booth? Bert. <laughs> oh, my granny, Bert. Fuzz Dread. It was Bert. Fuzz when you know rapper. I was in the studio with Bert, and I'm like, he like, man, get on the beat us. So I told his ass, hell nah, I don't, I don't know what to say. That shit too hard. Then I did that shit at home on some board shit. And then I went and made the song. And then both of them said that shit was raw. I've been telling folks to get raw. But it was on some slow shit. Like, I want to know, I, I'm finna do this shit every day. I just let it go. Like, it came with the time. Like, and I ain't want no force shit. I was going with the flow with it. And then, I'm right here now. These boys is so into what's going on on that coffee table. He he can't even give it give a clear interview. So a partner, his partner sent him there crushing up them beans, right? And Bloodhound Lil J can't even focus. He trying to get to that coffee table. You know, word on the street is Bloodhound Lil J ain't jump off the porch until 18 years old. He lost his life at 21. Man, I tell you, it's a shame 
It's a shame and a disgrace, bro. Hey, so do you remember what your what your first recorded song was? Bloody Family. Okay. With me and JB. You shot a video to that and everything? Yeah. How did that do? I got like, like, like 50,000 song. It's a year old. That was the first video a year ago. So it's like, all right now it's like 50 or some shit. Like 55. I don't know, something like that. It was right. good, bro. And so from there, how did you gather the confidence to continue? What made you say, you know what? This is what I'm finna do. I'm finna just be a rapper. Once the people was fucking with it, it was bigger than the guys at that point. Cause you know, the guys might, they might not run your shit. But the phone them gonna tell me if that shit weak. Cause I'm gonna tell them if that shit suck. But once I- So my boy got a bill. He, he rolling up the bill. And in the meantime, in between time, I have listened to some of uh, Bloodhound, Lil Jeff music. And it ain't terrible. It ain't terrible. But it's just the whole fact of the matter that um This is crash out music, fam. Ain't nothing creative about it. All we all all we rapping about is hopping out on feet and putting so many in somebody top. Ain't nothing creative about it. And then you mix in what they doing right here with it. It's a crash out culture, fam. We losing our you. I see other people's fuck with it. I'm like, oh, all right, bet we could do it. Word. Man, one of my favorite songs of yours is Niggas Be 12. Mm -hmm. Niggas <laughs> definitely be 12. Sure. Oh, fun with 6K. I really like the beat. And that shit old. That's the song that's gonna be a year old. Right. It mm -hmm. said one year ago on the on the on the, on the on the YouTube, right? So after listening to the song, a question that I got from it is. If you found out one of your homies told something, would you cut him off? Yeah, you damn right. Okay. Now, what what if the situation ain't had nothing to do with you? Listen, though? man, it don't matter. Your ass told you both, because what if it did? I mean, now I know your ass would have told on me. To this point, I guarantee you this is Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Biggest interview. And you see what he's doing in the middle of the interview. Yeah. See, Murder dropped the track back in, what, 96? Cluckers. Cluckers. Yeah, yeah. Who you telling? That shit telling. Okay. Now, I see you over there. You, you, you getting something together. This ain't about shit. This ain't about shit. This ain't about Just a little something. I ain't got to pay this shit no attention. <laughs> we ain't never seen that on DJ UTV before. Oh, man, There's a lot shit, of shit man. you ain't never seen. So what they call that right there? <laughs> Tony Montana. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Tony Montana. Man, listen. Buddy and them, they just off the porch. 21 years old. I already clucked out. And I and I don't know. I know. I know. Why are you calling them cluckers? Why are you call you, you? Man, listen. They saying it for themselves. I like tree. Sometimes I like tree my bitch. I don't even want to hit that man. We'll go to sleep. Yeah, on I just some had it. Yeah, Perk dirty made me fuck the shit. Basically speaking, on getting high, going to sleep, leaving a female wanting. Yeah. Okay. But look, y'all, y'all, but y'all not having no like no 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 troubles to where y'all got to fuck around and go to rehab or nothing, right? Hell yeah. no. Nah. Check out Bloodhound Lil J. You see, he got both hands on his face scratching. Yeah. Let's rewind this. Sometimes oh, I treat my bitch. I don't even want to hit that man. We'll go to sleep yeah, on some hash. dirty made me fuck the shit. But look, y'all, y'all, but y'all not having no like no 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 troubles to where y'all gotta fuck around, and go to rehab or nothing, right? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. No. Hell no. Nah. That's cluck ass shit. I see you all that scratching your face. I'm a functional cluck. <laughs> <laughs> I can function and shit. I can move and think and do shit and still live my everyday life. Man, listen. <laughs> a cluck. And a functional club. Same thing. 
Man, we losing our youth. We losing them, fam. Hey, on yesterday, it was a shootout in Chicago. And um, Bloodhound Lil Jeff was found unresponsive with, I believe, 45 shell casings. All due to trolling on the internet and the exposure he didn't got from these interviews. Um, when you go and listen to his music, you can tell that he had something, but it's just all the extras that come with it. Bam. I lost somebody near and dear to me that was on the same type of energy. And if you got a talent, maximize your talent, fam. Get out these streets. Stop calling people names when you're rapping. That's the main thing that will get you sent up, get you stretched. Talking about these people, putting packs up. It's a never-ending saga. See, what they don't tell you about the drill culture is super addictive. So it started with Sosa them in Chicago in the teens. Migrated to Memphis. Now it's everywhere, including Bar Birmingham. Same energy. It's a spirit. It, it's, it's pretty much a spirit. And what they don't tell you about the drill culture is the participants, they don't survive. They do not survive. It's almost like Sosa lit the match. You know how when you pour in Kingsford in the grill and you light the match and you step back? Yeah, Chief Keith, he lit the match and he stepped back. <laughs> and this is the carnage from all of it. Rest in peace to Bloodhound Lil' J. Rest in peace to all of these young fallen soldiers. They young, y'all. They young. See, when you drilling, you don't live to see 25 and 26. You know what I'm saying? And, and we all know that's a young age as well. But man, they dying in these streets. Prayers up for you. And the ones to succumb to this senseless, meaningless, frivolous gun violence. Grand opening, grand closing. The 15 minutes gone wrong for Bloodhound Lil Jeff. If you like the content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Support the channel via Cash App, Dollar Sign Alabama Hitter. I appreciate everybody to tune in. Hit squad. We're rocking with it the long way. Probably going to be popping out tonight. So, um, and until the next time that I decide to spin, I'm in the wind. Salute to the hitters. We gone, man. R.I.P. Bloody. Bloodhound. Lil' Jeff. Wow.